A Doll's House by Henrik Ibsen. Nora Helmer, the main character, arrives in her living room, the scene for the entire play. She is carrying packages when Torvald, her husband, comes out of his office to greet her. He is happy to see her, but makes a comment about how she spent too much on Christmas gifts. The two have been frugal the last two years, but Torvald recently got promoted at the bank that should ease their finances. Dr. Rank, the Helmer's friend, enters. At the same time, Christine Lind also arrives. Christine's husband passed away a few years prior, and she explains she has no money or children. Nora tells her that their first year, they were very poor and both had to work long hours. Also that Torvald became sick and they had to go to Italy so he could recover. Then Mrs. Lind continues saying for years she had to care for her sick mother and younger brothers. Her mother has since passed and her brothers are grown. She feels lonely and is hoping Torvald can get her a job. Nora promises to ask Torvald about it and then she reveals a secret. She says that while in Italy, she illegally borrowed money and told Torvald it was from her father. She has been saving secretly and is almost done repaying the debt. Krogstad, an ancillary employee at the bank, arrives and proceeds into Torvald's study. Nora is uneasy about his presence. Rank comes out and says Krogstad is morally sick. Torvald comes out after his meeting with Krogstad and agrees to hire Lind at the bank. Rank, Torvald, and Lind leave, and Nora is by herself. Soon, their children arrive back with their nanny, Anne Marie. Nora is playing with them when she notices Krogstad. As the two converse, it is revealed that Krogstad loaned Nora the money. Krogstad tells Nora that Torvald is going to fire him. He then blackmails her, threatening to use the contract that she forged to bring shame to her family if she doesn't convince Torvald to keep him. Krogstad leaves, and soon Torvald arrives. Nora tries to convince Torvald, but he won't listen, saying Krogstad is immoral and won't have him working at the company. The next day, Christmas, Nora is anxiously pacing. Lind arrives to help her with her dress for the Christmas ball. Nora tells Lind that Rank has a terminal illness. Lind senses Nora's anxiety and asks if the loan is with Rank. She denies, but also won't tell her who has the loan. Torvald arrives and Nora again begs Torvald not to fire Krogstad. The two argue before Torvald eventually sends the maid to deliver Krogstad's letter of dismissal. Torvald leaves and Rank comes. Nora is hoping to ask him for help, but he reveals that he is about to die and secretly loves her. Nora, shocked, refuses to ask anything of Rank. Rank leaves and Krogstad arrives, upset at Nora. He then changes the terms of the blackmail to include rehiring at a promotion. He then puts a letter detailing what Nora did in their mailbox for Torvald. Nora tells Lind everything. Lind tells Nora to delay Torvald from reading the letter and she will go speak to Krogstad. Nora distracts Torvald and gets him not to agree not to check the mail until the next night. Lind is unable to see Krogstad but leaves a note. The next night, while the ball takes place, Lind meets Krogstad in the Helmer's living room. It is revealed that they were once in love, but Lind married a wealthier man who could take care of her. Now that she is widowed, she proposes they get back together. Krogstad is ecstatic and agrees to take back the letter. Lind, however, says not to blackmail Nora, but insists he leave the letter because the truth will set them free. Nora and Torvald arrive back home and say goodnight to Lind. Torvald compliments Nora, but his advances are interrupted by Rank, who came to say goodnight. Rank leaves and Torvald discovers the letters. Nora insists he read Krogstad's letter. The letter sets Torvald off and he begins to insult her. Helene then brings in a new letter from Krogstad returning the contract. Torvald is elated and attempts to take back his insults. Nora, however, declines the apology and instead declares that after eight years of marriage, she has had enough of him treating her like a doll to be admired and played with. She leaves, slamming the door behind. Please like and subscribe. It really helps our channel. Thank you.